Welcome to QLM Business News. Here are today's news stories. Avanti West Coast unveils £600 overtime deal for train drivers, promising enhanced service quality. Avanti West Coast, in collaboration with the union ASLEF, has announced a groundbreaking agreement to enhance the overtime rates for train drivers, setting the bar at £600 per shift. This move comes as Avanti aims to address concerns regarding service reliability and resilience, amidst mounting criticism over frequent cancellations, delays, and subpar performance. Effective from 29 March, the new rest day working arrangement, a substantial increase from the previous £125, aims to incentivize drivers to take on additional shifts, thereby bolstering the stability and consistency of Avanti services. While reports suggest that some drivers could potentially earn up to £100,000 annually with this new agreement, concrete figures are yet to be confirmed by either Aslef or Avanti. Last year, Avanti secured a renewed contract for the West Coast Main Line, spanning from London Euston to Glasgow Central, with extensions to Birmingham, North Wales, Liverpool, Manchester, and Edinburgh. Addressing concerns raised over the company's performance, Avanti emphasized its commitment to improving service quality for customers, highlighting ongoing efforts to train drivers on the utilization of brand new trains. However, despite this positive development, Avanti has been subject to scrutiny, with recent calls for the termination of its contract. Aslef's General Secretary, Mick Whelan, emphasized that Avanti's ability to deliver advertised services is hindered by a shortage of employed drivers. Rail Minister Hugh Merriman affirmed the government's stance on retaining Avanti's contract, emphasizing the importance of addressing underlying issues rather than focusing solely on the operator. It's important to note that this settlement is distinct from the broader dispute between Aslef and most English rail companies concerning pay and working conditions for train drivers. The prolonged dispute has seen numerous strikes and industrial actions, underscoring the complexities within the railway sector. As discussions continue and actions unfold, the railway landscape remains dynamic, with stakeholders navigating challenges while striving to uphold service standards and meet the diverse needs of passengers across the UK. Discover a game-changing opportunity for your business growth with QLM Business News Sponsored Advertising. Effortlessly draw in a steady flow of new customers while elevating your brand's visibility. Capture the attention of your target audience with pinpoint accuracy. Visit qlmbusinessnews.com and navigate to the Advertise section to unleash the power of strategic advertising. Seize this unparalleled chance to propel your business to unprecedented levels of success. This news story is brought to you by QLM Business News, your digital media channel, Visit qlmbusinessnews.com for more business news stories, also follow us on Facebook, X and YouTube. To help QLM Business News bring you more news stories like this, please like, share and subscribe.